Good morning, good morning. Danielle Hayden here with the Hayden Group and Keller Williams Ann Arbor, and I want to talk to you just a smidge about maintaining your sanity during a shelter-in-place situation. <laughs> and I know shelter-in-place is probably not the right term. People are using all kinds of different terms. It's the easiest one for me to remember. So anywho, um, yeah, I had great intentions this morning of waking up at like 6.30 in the morning and getting on my treadmill and starting the day before the kids got up. Didn't happen. I just felt the need to sleep in a little bit. And you know what? I'm forgiving myself. That's fine. Um, but I've given a lot of thought to like, how do I make the most of this time? As a real estate agent, I'm not able to go out and do face-to-face. I have some doubt about how well I can sell homes when people are not actively in the home looking at it. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out, you know, what is this three week gift for? Like, what do I wanna do? Uh, and I realized that I often have professional and personal goals, but my professional goals almost always take precedence. And so I don't get to things like my workout. Um, and I'm feeling like this is a, a, it's this weirdly taxing, mentally and emotionally taxing moment where like I feel exhausted even though I'm in the house all day. Um, so I'm trying to figure out like how can I take care of myself um, and, and really create some balance in the day. So first things first, I, I know we've seen a lot of memes and funny things on the internet about how like, oh, I guess, you know, day drinking starts at three. <laughs> Um, I'm using this moment. I, I like to have a cocktail. I like to have wine at night. I like to relax, but you know what? I'm using this as a moment to like really just cleanse myself and detox and just cut out anything that's unnecessary so that I can have a lot of peace and simplicity and focus during these three weeks. Um, it's not really how my life works outside of, of COVID-19. Typically it's go, go, go all the time, fast, 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 and everything gets a little bit of my attention. Um, and so I just really wanna shave off as much as I can. Um, and I notice that if I don't have any alcohol and I go to bed at like 9, 9.30, I wake up feeling like I can conquer the day. And that's the feeling I want. So, you know, I, I've decided, you know what, we didn't, when everyone went and like picked up their bottles of wine <laughs> at Trader Joe's or whatever, I was like, you know what, mm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna specifically not buy any alcohol, not have any in the house so that we can just like really make the most out of our time together uh, in the next three weeks. So that was step one, no alcohol. Step two was going to bed on time somewhat early so um you know the good news is that i'm i'm really drawn like at the end of the day mentally and emotionally um and so at eight o'clock nine o'clock at night i'm not having trouble falling asleep like i just get in bed i watch tv for a little bit and then like i either turn the tv off or i turn over and put my sleep mask on and i just close my eyes and go to sleep um i I have the intention of waking up early in the morning, but I'm also not beating myself up about it. If we sleep in until 7.30, like there are a lot of hours in the day that you're gonna be at home and you can get your stuff done. So I think health is the most important right now, especially considering that some of us probably have been exposed to the virus uh, and there's a 14 day incubation period and, and we need to store up our health reserves as much as possible right now because I know um, several people I know actually started having symptoms yesterday or the day before. So. Now's the time to really just take care of your body and have some solitude, some peace, some rest and relaxation and take the best care you can of yourself so that if you end up showing symptoms, you're sort of ahead of the game there and, and you're not depleted from the get-go. Um, so let's talk about kids and house. Um, of course, a lot of us have frozen food right now because that's sort of the name of the game, dry and frozen, if you can't go to the store. Uh, so when I wake up in the morning, I have my coffee, I try to relax a little. Um, I orient myself first to what do the kids need in terms of like getting ready for the day, not sitting on the couch watching TV. So they, they watch TV in the morning for a little bit, then they get up, they brush their teeth, they have their breakfast, they get new clothes on, and then we start schoolwork. So um, my eight-year-old is, he's pretty good at just sitting down and, and getting into his online portal. Thankfully, our school district had the ability to pass out technology before all of this happened. My, <laughs> my little one is smiling at me right now. Hi. Um, so for my youngest, who is six, 
he is not um, he's not digging the online portal thing. It's a little too cumbersome for him. We have a different tablet than he had at school for him, and so it doesn't quite flow the same way. Um, so thankfully, his teacher has been emailing some ditto sheets, and we do have a printer here at home, so we were able to print that out. So I sort of picked three or four for him. He sits down, he does it, he's able to ask me for questions, but we try to start the day off with some structure. Um, and I know that the minute I sit down and do my work, that structure will start to unravel a little bit. So we try to just really like start that way so that the kids get some momentum with their schoolwork. Um, I know for my oldest, it's really important for me that he holds himself accountable. I feel like, you know, he's eight and he's at the point where he can do a lot of this on his own. But if there's not a system of accountability, um, then we're missing a big learning opportunity for him about how to hold himself accountable. So he has his list of five things that have been recommended from his teacher to do on a daily basis. Then the teacher also sent out a March calendar of like fun and kooky things you can do around the house or in the backyard. Um, and then they also sent 100 STEM activities, some of which are and are not applicable during this quarantine period. So he picks from his March calendar, he picks from his 100 list of STEM activities, and he creates a list of seven things to do that day. Um, and then he checks them off as he goes and checks in with me. I'll ask him, what is your progress? You know, what are you doing next? How much time do you need to do it? Do you need any resources? So I'm finding that weirdly enough, it's this bonding experience for me and the kids. Um, and I'm trying to make sure that I am able to identify for them what their strengths are and, and what their gaps are. And then I help them fill those gaps and then I send them on their way and I let them do the rest of the work. Um, weirdly enough, as a team leader, it's it almost feels like I'm running a home team and a real estate team. Um, and it's the same process. Like I feel like I, we're going through 411s and we're going through goal setting and, and accountability mechanisms um, and you know, I encourage y'all to just think of it that way. Like, how, what is the opportunity here for us to bond together for me to help them grow um, and apply, you know, bold laws and things like that to them? Because it really does mindset and working together is really going to get us through this period of time. So that's that. Then I sit down, I do my work for the day. Um, right now, I am doing a YouTube video or two a day. Um, that was a goal for me this year and that's that's really where the opportunity is presenting itself right now because a lot of people are at home trying to get information, trying to figure out you know, what the next step is, trying to keep themselves busy. Um, and I thought, you know what, let's give them some, some you know, tools for how to deal with this emergency situation that are not necessarily just like the gloom and doom of the news, which is necessary, but we need a break from that. We need some positive momentum. We need some face-to-face -face time. Um, so here we are with that. Then I make my phone calls. It's about one to two hours of phone calls. Um, it was four before they shut down real estate, but right now I'm just trying to keep my head on straight. <laughs> so one to two hours of phone calls, um, even like Facebook, Instagram, just scroll it. See who your people are. What are they doing? Interact with them. Send them text messages. Hey, how you doing? Like send them a funny gif. Anything that's going to like brighten the mood and remind them that you're here and see how you can help. Um, so one to two hours of that. And then frankly, I'm gonna take a break and we're probably gonna take a family walk and get some fresh air and sunshine because these artificial lights I got going on here, they're not gonna keep me happy. <laughs> so we're gonna go out and get some fresh air and sunshine. Um, and then the piece I have yet to really work into my day um, is exercise. And I'm really like, that's my next goal is I normally strength train. I have not had the patience to do it right now. It's so funny, like I, I didn't expect this, but I'm actually tearing up a little bit because I have not done it at all. And frankly, it's because I think I'm a little depressed from all of this, um, but it doesn't matter if it's my strength training, which takes an hour and a half, three times a day, or if it's getting on the treadmill, I'm just trying to be really gentle with myself and be okay with like just anything, any progress, right? Um, but I think it's really important that we all figure out what can you do to stay healthy? What can you do to, to take your mind off of the present and get into your body and just really get your juices flowing? Um, <clears throat> I hope that helps y'all. Oh, uh, and the frozen food thing in the morning, you know, when we're setting the kids up for success, I'm also thinking like, what are we gonna have for dinner? What do I need to take out of the freezer? Maybe defrost it overnight, get the crock pot going. Um, and the other thing that I have found it's really, really important 
is to just keep the house clean. You know, it's it can be really tough if you are here hunkered down with the kids and you've got work and you've got home. Um, you know, I just really encourage you to work together and maybe clean up before everybody goes to bed all together so that you wake up to a nice fresh home in the morning and maybe like a midday cleanup, you know, what do we still need out? What can we put away? Um, so I did the dishes last night and I woke up to a clean kitchen, which like there's nothing better than that. So, <laughs> um, I hope y'all are doing well. Let us know what you're doing, uh, to establish balance. What are your current gaps? How are you going to close them? And how can we hold you accountable? Because uh, balance and health and physical and mental well-being right now is just so darn important. Um, I guess that's it for now, you guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful Wednesday and uh, stay healthy.